Hey, good evening everyone. So I'm back to our topic. So we saw last class about binary to decimal and we play with the zeros and ones. So we're going to quickly revise the basic table. So we have two tables. You supposed to help me to complete that table and we will see the ones complement of that table so that next upcoming classes we're going to start for the ip addressing and the, you will see two different type of addresses today in the lab we will see those type and we're going to explore those addressing using these zeros and ones what's role in ip as well as mac address later on okay so we will today we will see only the part of the physical address as well as logical address that is called internet address okay and we're going to explore that so before that before going to that let's revise the what we have done two table so first table that's called ip table or why i'm telling ip table because ip ip addresses start any number that's a zero one two till the maximum number will be 255 okay so ip always between this number if it's beyond that that will be not a ip okay guys so we have to export in this so we study we study the two table the table is first table one two four eight you remember guys then 16 32 64 128 so this is a pair of four four so if i'm going to write any number like 64 what will be binary it's a easy will start from here so switch off on off 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 this is equivalent to this because this is a four bit all zeros only that this bit going to enable Santanu are you able to recall yes okay thank you now same way if I am writing 92 so how do I write the easy we have 60 64 plus 32 that going Good. to be give what anyone 90. 96 so 96 mm -hmm. will be 64 plus this but i required what what do we need we need 92 so how are we going to process this is value for 96 okay i will do the ones complement so what will be the ones complement these two will be the constant because first one going to be zero and rest of one so this is i think it's a 95 once complement now if we know once complement to 95 value i can reach in 92 so how many what going to be subtracted three if i subtract i will get 92 so i'm going to switch off three two plus one so this is my answer right guys yes no yes yes, sir. yes and i told you how to verify because what you will do always you verify so i'm going to go binary binary to decimal converter no need to remember just do google click first one whatsoever it's opening to go for that and binary to decimal sorry decimal to binary i have to do just write down decimal and convert this binary this is you can verify one zero one 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 zero zero is right hand so one zero one 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 zero zero is a right answer thing yes one zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 
right so you can verify what you are storing so what is the benefit of this table if i know this binary i know the binary of one's complement that will be zero one three the seven fifteen so we have a ready-made binary of this number are you agree or not hey tell me yes no yes okay yes yes now same way this is the ip address numbers we follow next to we have subnet table what we have is study subnet table so what we have done the pattern so we found the pattern of that the this one's moving toward this so this give you 128 one one that's the next subnet value that's the 192 same way all threes so you can calculate you can remember two two four like this this one's going to be incremented and the value will be this is the first four value next four value is 248 252 254 and 255 and that will be last binary will be all ones so i'm writing in the pair of four four clear guys yes yes sir. if you know this table so you easily know the mm -hmm. ones complement of this game so how are you going to do once complement? I'm going to write in red. So once complement will be the 127, 191. I'm doing just to minus one, two, two, three, and then two, 39, agree? Once complement of first four. Then we yes. have another ones complement of 247, 251 then 253 and 254 so you have ready made binary of these numbers by using these binaries you can play with the any number of binary that going to help you in calculating of your subnet ip subnetting we are going to do the classless subnetting in the upcoming classes okay so where do you practice this <clears throat> so in classroom uh, let me show you <clears throat> sorry if you in go to classroom download this binary to decimal hexa practice sorry <clears throat> clear guys santanu yeah yes <clears throat> okay now i'm moving to next level of topic today we have we going to understand basic fundamental of networking that's a three keyword called broadcast broadcast then we have another called multicast unicast Have you heard about this terminology for engineering background i hope you know this yes no. yes 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 sir yes so this is very come to unicast so this is very easy to understand unicast is one to one means the communication one to one this is called unicast so in network we will do what one end user means one pc going to communicate with the another pc the end user and in between the network going to be we are sitting our network device going to be 
okay so this is called one to one so this is pc1 and going to communicate with the pc13 or any number so this is called one to one communication clear and we are going to do the lab today we will understand now next we have multicast multicast suppose we have cloud and there is a hundred of people out of hundred ten people understand the the language called French French they understand the French language and you are speaking in French to so tell me how many guys will reply out of hundred tell me how many guys going to reply you whatsoever you going to speak or mm. acknowledge mm. your speak not more sorry can you speak a little loud there is a hundred people out of that hundred people only ten people know the french and you are speaking in french so how many people will understand what you are speaking Ten people, sir. Only ten people. Ten not ten. all. Ninety people not understand. Yes. So, this is called multicast. Means the packet what you going to send in the cloud, send into the cloud to everyone. Everyone receive whatever I am speaking. Everyone can listen, but everyone can't understand because they don't know French. Those who understand the French, those ten person only can understand. So let me give me one. Let me give you the another example. So that's a networking example. This this is one generic example I gave you. Suppose you, when you are talking in the cloud, so you generate the public key and private key. Okay, just keep your mind nothing to uh, it's a high high level of technology. Just you understand whatever the you data you are sending in the public cloud cloud, you lock the data with the two key. There is two key, public key and private key. Okay, and you even this in the cloud they have millions of people. How many millions billions of people? This is the internet. But you have shared this public key only five people. How many people? You given the this public key to five, five people, and this packet send data in the cloud. Everyone they can receive, but there is no use of that data because they don't have key. Those who has public key. They can able to open that. Are you guys able to understand? Yes, yes sir. So this is a networking by which. So what tech, This is the cloud where millions of people are sitting. But you want to talk to the, those five people. This is another example of multicast. So multicast is not a broadcast, but it look like a broadcast. Multicast is not a broadcast, but it look like it because he's going to share everything. He's speaking to everyone, but out of everyone, only 10 people are able to understand because they understand those language. Okay, we will see right now the example in networking. So many other examples I will give. Now come to the broadcast. So whenever they're going to ask you in an interview, so what? What do we have multicast? The one liner answer is one to many, but not all. One to many, but not, not all. Means it is not for all, but many. Many can be 10. You can give this example. 
okay i will teach you more right now i'm going to explore you so many other example like that called stp multicast the cdp multicast i will show you in lab right now now come to the broadcast one to many one to all one to all what is called one to all means whatsoever you give everyone going to receive and understand like on the radio whether you want or not whether do you want to listen that song in the radio or not but they keep on broadcast right yes or no with the example yes. of the broadcast yes sir in general give me the example apart from i gave given you one example of radio radio is the broadcast media tell me tv tv television yes whether you want to see that or not keep on movie ad and everything is ongoing and every television having same thing so we going to do this lab today okay so we will start our lab from the broadcast and we will see how beautiful lab is there so we're going to do the lab of what television should i do that any question till here guys no no so you understand broadcast one to all multicast one to many but not equal to all next unicast one to one i give you the examples now let's do the lab we will do the lab for unicast multicast and broadcast so we will start my lab using the broadcast and please repeat do the same mistake okay so you have to help me to explore this so where do i got the tv in which section we will get the tv the router switches individual or other component where do we i got so end devices having tv no are you able to see the tv on my screen yes no yeah yes I Yes. So I have selected TV zero, TV one, and TV two. These are the very baby steps. I want to make you familiar with the just what what are the component do you have package Cisco package? How beautifully organized. Okay. And uh, go to the cloud. So where do we see the cloud the router the cloud where where do we because i need the broadcast cloud you have to explore this how do you explore you just click and check it out whether do you, you have this part you can click you can see the cloud you see you have dsl modem you have cable modem you have cloud if you remember i have teached you this cloud the basic cloud concept in the l1 you remember Antonio? the physical layer sections of this okay please go through those videos yes yes now i'm going to select my cloud cloud zero by default that cloud so this is cloud whether they're going to broadcast now tell me tv which cable you are going to connect which type of cable whether rj45 cable coaxial cable fiber cable or any other cable or electrical cable so i'm going to go to connector tell me which connector rj45 which cable rj45 no rj45 where you do you put the rj45 in the tv no you use coaxial cable if you remember yeah 
Agree or not? Can you see this blue? Yes. This yes. is coaxial cable. Connect your TV with coaxial cable. So this TV going to connect with the cloud in service provider or the TV cable provider. Console uh, cable. What? Console cable. No, console cable is used for the console of the device. I will come. Okay. We will use all the data. These are all, all the cable going to frequently use to first class. I'm showing you the TV because they easy. Yes, yes. Understand? Get the familiar with the tool. Yes. Get started using the tool. Okay. Now I'm going to click this because I have three, three TV, so I need three connector. So if I will use the cable, I have I need cable to connect. So I need the connector. How oh, real this? So I'm going to open this cloud. I can see. Are you able to see? Otherwise, I'm going to zoom in. Now you are able to see. Yes, no. Yes, yes. Understand, guys. Once you are able to understand, you have to. And do you can see here this switch on green? And you can see this is the coaxial cable. Yes. This is the phone line. This is the RJ45 cable. Again, mm -hmm. we have two phone line cables. We have serial ports, different type of connector. But for TV, we need coaxial cable. Coaxial. But how many TV do we have? Three. Three. But how many connector is here? One. One. So I'm going to switch off this. And I'm going to connect to more connector. Okay. Okay. So here is a module. Okay. And this is very beautiful tool where you can study. If you don't know, just click first one. And the description is there. So you have to read this description. This is RJ11, not RJ40. The phone connector. This look mm -hmm. like I don't need that. Click next. Then they given you the next LAN backbone connector. I don't need. Then I will go for next. Then next you study. I know that. I will come to the CX. You can see that this card feature single coaxial connector. Able to see. Yes. The same way you can explore this module by, by reading this. You can explore. Please do this practice. I'm going to connect this cable, just copy and drag. Wow, I connected. Once I connected, I will switch on. As to suppose I will try to remove without switching off. What is going to happen? Not going to remove because the device is on. You have to power off mm -hmm. your device, then only you have to replace, add, or remove the module. Okay? Period. Yes. Now cloud is on, my connector is ready. I will select my cable. So I control and press this. Now connect with this. Once you click this, they all the port will show you. The modem, we will use this phone line for modem. This is for switches, ethernet, routers. But for TV, I, I have to use coaxial cable. I will click this first coaxial cable to coaxial as soon as you connect that going to be green is the my layer to connectivity walking proper still here guys yes now so I have to switch yes, on my TV let's see the movie or any what going on so who going to broadcast here Cloud provider, right? TV cable provider going to broadcast mode. So I'm going to switch on the TV. I will go there. On, but I did not see any movie over here. Because you are the crow. You have to upload the movie. So here, this tool is not allowed to upload the movie. So we will upload some pictures. Photo. So let me. Go for the config and here TV setting. Can you able to see config TV setting? 
Yes, no. Yes, yes. Okay, click that. Then they are giving you select the TV image. Okay. Okay. Just click that and go to your computer. I have there is that there, there must be few photos. Otherwise, go to the your pictures and select some pictures. I'm going to select one by one picture. So these are the very small tool for your lab. Once you add this picture, you add this. So I'm going to add few um few, few good number of pictures. And I want the three. Just I want to broadcast. I have added two. Okay, I will go to third picture. I did keep on add so that is come into library. Just um, smart goal shooting stack to book, and then we have network automation and civil pictures. These are the great pictures. Okay, uh, as more than enough. So I'm going to add one more picture. That um, learning theory, image one, and see what architecture diagrams. Well, for uh, ah, architecture and see architecture. Okay, so we have good number of. Now uh, let's do. Switch on TV again. Wow! Now my TV is broadcast. Yes. Same way, I will switch on a, another TV also. And let's imagine this. Enjoy both. They are broadcasting same picture yeah. at the same time. It's two TV, TV zero TV. Are you able to see, guys? Yeah. This is called broadcast. At the same yeah. time, every TV are able to see same the uploaded or in movie. Because we know these are the plan. Okay, so let's switch off. You can switch off your TV. Okay, wherever you switch off in that, off there. Off. Questions again. Comfortable? Understand? Yes. yes. No? Is it easy? Damn easy. Yes, yes sir. Yes. And interesting. Because switch off. Yes. Okay. Now I'm moving to the next lab. It's called multi and I will see right now. This is the very generic lab I have done. Just I want the TV is one of the best example for the broadcast. But what about the networking example? So I'm going to show you next level. It's harder. I'm going to do, and I'm going to stop recording because the buffer. I'm going. To so I'm going to see you in next class with the proper networking device. We're going to do the broadcast, multicast, and bye-bye. See you in.